A visit to Lisa's house reveals her training as a fine artist and textile designer. It also shows a childlike fascination with paper, color, light, and how they come together to create wonder. Balancing her professional skills with her inner child results in magical design. Your house is a testament to your creativity as a designer. There's so many colorful corners and you did it yourself. Yes, I've, uh, over the years I've collected pieces I've made and put up on the walls like this permit piece here. Other things I've sourced overseas are the posters in the kitchen. I started those in Italy as well and through the years, over six years, I enlarged in the collection and basically whatever looks beautiful, I buy. You are known for your appreciation of colour. What is it about bright colours that you like so much? It's an instinctive thing. I've just always loved bright colour and it's the one thing I feel confident with. I can put colours together and I don't reason which colour, just whatever feels right. And you know, you kind of have to trust your gut. And I think that that's the same with lights. You can give a glow from the different, these colourful lights that create this warmth in a room and add a whole new dimension by having pools of light all over the place, which are far better than a whole bland overhead light. This fine artist has turned her technique to creating window installations which seduce the eye. The same is easily achieved at home. Lisa, what are we making today? I thought we should try something simple, like these tea lights. It's a simplified version of these lights that I've made. And all you need are two glasses and the vinyls. So there's a nice array of colours. And you just need to cut them on, stick them on, which is very easy, and put the tea light can on side, you get a wonderful glow. I see over here you've overlapped some colours as well. Yeah, I do that a lot because you get some very unexpected colour contrasts by overlapping. Okay, I'm going to go for the blue and the green. Well, that's a very nice choice of colours and I don't, maybe you should try do something leafy and organic, seeing they're nice fresh colours. Well, let me use this lampshade for inspiration. The key is to jump in and do it without fear of failing, as children do. Oh, my leaves look a bit funny. No, it actually looks very nice. Really? But I think maybe you should try cut because sometimes you cut, you get nice shapes that you didn't actually draw. What are you going to make? Well, I thought I'd do something different to yours. Um, I'm going to be using warm colours, my favourite. Nice glowing pinks and orangey reds and purples. And I thought what I'd do is I'd make a very bold stripe. I know that's eight centimetres, so I'm just going to measure out eight. So it's nice and easy. So just cut on the line. It's always nice to have those guides behind. Taking off the corner and applying it. It doesn't always come right first time, but luckily it's very forgiving and you can strip it up. That's how it looks with one colour. And if it's a bit skewed, just shave off the edge. So it's, it's actually easy to kind of fix if it's not perfect. So I thought I'd do a broad pink because it happens to be my favourite colour. And what is nice is these two colours together. So I think I'm going to do a purple to overlap a little bit. So eight centimetres is the exact amount. There's a short journey from creative idea to seeing the product of your inspiration. So this is an encouraging way to get yourself into DIY lighting design. I'm going to do a light test to see what leaf should go where. Okay, I think it gets a bit lost there. Looks great here. And this darker blue, I think I'm going to put it somewhere in this section. Okay, let's get sticking. To put a collection like this together and be brave about doing it, it's best to think of these lights as mood enhancers and intense colour accents, rather than functional lamps. Lisa, I'm done. What do you think? Oh, that's brilliant for your first time, really. I'm very <laughs> impressed. So, what's next? Okay, so now I like these big fat candles, which will give extra glow. Put one in yours. Wow, look at that. Let's look what we've created. Look. Absolutely stunning. So, Jay, do you want to see these lights lit up now? Yes. Okay. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, this is incredible. Look at all the layers of colours. Now, this is how you add some colour and light into your life to brighten up your day. Gather a few of these together in varied shapes and colours to create a pool of warmth. A sculptural 3D light space to fill a room with atmosphere.